Ah, people who come in, <coughs> welcome. Welcome, guys. <coughs> Just giving it a few minutes here before we start heading out. Uh, we're not really heading out uh, this time. Uh, gonna organize a bit here. to shove some resources into into chests there so we can have room sand and stone and dirt and stuff I have more than enough of, of in my regular inventory just gonna clean that out here I think I'm gonna make like a, a separate chest for rings, <laughs> jewelry, crap. Oh, that girl that extra me there it is. It looks a bit different. The axe we made yesterday. Airwalking. Good morning. This is the Rubikite axe that we made yesterday. That is no better than the gold axe we had already. We spent about four hour, four and a half hours of a stream yesterday <laughs> making this axe, uh, and here it is in its all its glory with the statistics on it. Organize the inventory bit. Statistics, where is it? Where it go? Uh, so that, that bug is still in the game, then apparently. Like uh, sometimes it looks like it disappears from inventory. It doesn't really. It just looks like that. If I were to put that back in here, nothing happens. If I were to relog now, it would be there. Chief Argon, good to see you back. I haven't seen you for a while. I'm good. How are you? My shoulder hurts though. That's my only thing at the moment. <coughs> yeah, we need to make another chest, guys. Put it down there. Because my my eventual plan now and then <laughs> is to is to is to get rid of this um, platform here, make a new one. I think we'll just get started on that. Really, uh, we need to. There's a, like step one. We have a chest here. Actually, let's pick that up. I'm gonna clean off this whole top part here, so that we can make a better rounder platform <laughs> it's, not, it's no big deal with the shoulder by the way it's just one of those things that ha whoa hey door come back <laughs> bad door turning the wrong way ah, I see you there it's so one of those things that happens if you sit in front of computers for way too much, and I do both at work and at home. Uh, and at work I sit in a way I don't prefer to sit. Oh, there we go, finally. Why is it like... Why have the doors reversed their... I don't know what to call it even. Just... I haven't been playing around with that option yet, but that that was pretty cool. You can do that with the, when you're copy pasting stuff too now, I think. Good. Good, good, good. I need to bunk down another room. Uh, 
What has kept you so occupied in landmark? Yeah, we can drop by. Are you far away? Let me just drop a chest here. Where'd my chest go? I did pick up uh, a big chest, didn't I? And there's something weird with the inventory system in this game. It's really... Sometimes it just like eats stuff. It disappears. I'm afraid to put things in it. I had a gigantic chest up there. I picked it up. And it's no longer here. And now this thing is stuck on my screen. <laughs> I'll give him a moment. Why is that stuck on my screen? How do I get rid of that? I am here. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> There's the portal. There's one, two, three claims to the right. That's where I am. Three claims to the right, straight to the right of the portal. Slightly southbound. Just, just, just slightly. On a mountaintop. Hey, Voidite. Welcome back. <clears throat> Which reminds me, guys. Like, uh, sometimes when I'm streaming... There's many times that it's... Many things that it's some, sometimes when I'm streaming. But sometimes when I'm streaming, my... Um, my computer's microphone boost settings goes up to 100%. I usually keep it at around 30. Uh, so you can understand that what happens is I get very like crackly loud noise. Um, please let me know if I <laughs> if you hear that and because I just that, that just means I forgot to to check it. Um, oh, I can get rid of that. Yeah. Thank you for the tip. I'll go in my inventory, hover over a blank item. Hover over a blank space in it? What? What do you mean? I'm hovering, hovering over. It doesn't show me anything now because the other thing is like perma selected. Stone. I know now. Know a lot about stones. So yeah, if that happens with um, with uh, yeah, there's void I did. If that happens within uh, one of the streams, please let me know so I can fix it. Otherwise, like when I'm <laughs> last yesterday, I discovered it. Uh, <coughs> that was like four and a half hours of recording. Uh, full of that horrible sound and like I'm hesitating to put it on YouTube afterwards. Uh, let's see, you said not over a box but over a blank space. What do you mean blank space? Like not, not one of these? <laughs> I'm sure there's something. <laughs> I'm sure there's something I'm not getting here. over a blank space. B. 
there's a blank space, there's a blank space. And by hover over, you mean like... I'm sure I can just... Isn't there like a... Hold on. No, that didn't do it. Isn't there like a reload UI kind of thing here? Oh, that should have... Okay, so I was... Wasn't All right. It probably disappears the next time I'm, I'm changing zones, to be honest. Should be like a command to just reload the UI. But also, where is my freaking chest? <laughs> this game is eating my chest. Oh, you got it. Oh, all the tools. All the tools in one day. That's pretty decent, dude. Congrats. It's a good, good uh, first day of, uh, of Landmark. Oh, sorry. There we go. There we go. In-game chat engaged. Um, so I, I don't pay attention to either one chat constantly. <laughs> it's just this one, the the in-game chat slash join observer. For those of you who want, uh, is more of a so like think of it as a guild chat sort of. Uh, it's, it's even more so useful when we're not in uh, in a stream. Oh, Woo's helped you out. Excellent. That's good. Where is... Uh, let's see. We, we should have some incoming... Oh, there. Yep. We have friends coming over. Chief Archon, is that you? Is that your in-game name? Man, we need to get some work done here today, because this place looks ugly. Hey, hello! Like, all I've done so far is just messing around with experiments. No... No, no actual building since I learned how to build. I mean, <laughs> so it would be nice to put that into, into practice for once. All right, yeah, okay, cool. So when I, so you, uh, where are we? Um, what was it that you wanted to show us? Is it in uh, over in your claim or? Oh, hey, I got rid of the thing, somehow. Not sure when that happened. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll, I'll watch the stream afterwards, find out how that happened. Well, I hope all of you got your coffee, by the way. Otherwise, it's too late now. Press escape void light. You probably you probably have like a, a building tool selected or something. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> Didn't know you could do that. <laughs> 
All right. Man. <laughs> oh, that, that didn't work so well. <laughs> Being harassed here. Frisbee, uh, beta keys are, uh, we, we, I think we all bought them. Uh, they're not really giving out beta keys, yeah, it's only the, you only buy them like a backer. <laughs> I'm sorry why I died. I just, the idea came to me. Uh, <laughs> and hey, uh, Magwow. Welcome to the stream. Oh, that wasn't long. Chief Archon, were you gonna show us something, right? Or Kind of over. You said he had something to show us. Question mark. How did he crouch? Kneel? Yeah. Logic. <laughs> okay, if you want to hang out here for a bit, first we have a little bit of work to do and then uh, we can take a little uh, round trip, I guess. Oh no. So it doesn't like unkneel. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, can I? Uh, slash stand, I think. Oh, thank God. Slash sit. That does nothing. Slash. Um, bow. Cool. <laughs> Um, let's see, what are we going to do, what are we going to do? My first plan was just to delete a whole bunch of stuff on there so that we can build a new platform. Um, And I also had some plans to experiment further with this stuff. But I'm not sure if that will be later on. Or just simply a tutorial when I figure it out. Because I kind of figured it out. It's kind of strange. <laughs> um... But I need to, I need to, um, I think when, I, when we do a tutorial on this stuff, it's going to have to be illustrated outside of the game as well on how voxels work and how you manipulate the corners of voxels. Um, so this might be a bit complicated. Hey, Settler, come, or come, welcome to the stream. see yeah I'm uh, let me see I'm thinking about giving out permissions here to to you guys I'm just wondering at which on which claim because I'm not going to give it to, uh, to you guys on all of them <laughs> uh, <clears throat> All right, 
let me see. Let's have a look at this permission settings. I'm only giving this out to people that have been in here for <clears throat> forever, or that I know very well from YouTube. So if I don't give it to someone, uh, that's just because I haven't known you for long enough. Not that. Let's see, where, where is the, there we go, claim management, claim number one, that's like the central one here, claim number two, I believe it's over there, that's the experiment one, I'll give, I'll give you access to the experiment one, because we're going to build like some prototypes for now just until I clean this up uh, so which what is that builder that means you can do pretty much anything right Builder. Okay. Void eyed, because I know you very well as well. Is that how you spell it in game, by the way? Yes. And we'll give Lexar because you've been hanging out here forever. So all you guys can now build on that claim. Should be able to, anyways, on the on the experiment platform. And I might give uh, access to the other platform too after a while, but I don't know what to do there yet, so I don't want to give full access to it until I have a plan. <laughs> um, just leave these little things over here, the rest is not important. The roof we can tear down. I will in fact tear it down. I'm going to clean stuff up now, because... Okay guys, I actually have a little competition for you. Um, on the test platform. You can build in whatever height you want. Uh, the only thing in the competition is we want to... I'm going to make like little tree huts um, of sorts that to to like to be placed on multiple locations uh, up in the tree or above the tree or around the tree. Actually around the tree sort of. It's going to be like We go. So I'm just gonna clean up the stuff I don't need here. They don't have to be very big. It's more about like the detail and the and we can connect them to other stuff. I'll just move things out of the way here. That's just I like to. Whenever I am experimenting with stuff, I like to keep like the stages of the experimentation, as you know. Um, just because it reminds me how I got to that point. Uh. 
There we go. I cleaned up some. Yeah, so a uh, little, uh, little tree huts. Circular or... I don't know, like... Not gigantic, but I, had, I don't really have any certain claims yet. But actually, you know what? So long as there's sort of like woodish or... Uh, I don't know something that would fit up in the trees. I think of it like decoration, but like so, like a small person could live in it, like a like tree hobbit. I don't know, uh, and we'll and we'll put them up there. So if you if you if you put the effort in, but no, it can't be gigantic. But uh, I don't know, like I don't know. I I would say like generally not much bigger radius than the largest ball or the or that that kind of a little bit bigger than the largest ball but not much in general size wise that would be a, a good thing to aim for a little bit bigger than that all right it's the competition meanwhile i shall be cleaning up here And uh, don't worry about that, just uh, go ahead and experiment. You have all the tools, right? So if you need some stone and stuff, I can always give you some stone and wood. It should be buildable with wood and stone, I think. Uh, if you want to decorate it with emeralds and whatever, that's fine. <laughs> okay, let me just uh, catch up on the chat here while we watch that. Lexart, feel free to build something as well. Let's see. You for permissions. Okay, thank you, Magwell. Uh, I'm just catching up here. Frisbee, how about fields? What? Fields? Slash fields? Nope. You need to turn off permissions when you go offline as advised by the request team, she far says. According to the request team, any claim that infringes the rules will be... Yeah, I know. So, like, if any of you guys builds a giant cock on my claim, for example, now that you have the right to, my entire claim will be wiped. The schmoof. So don't do that. Uh, let's see what else. Also, a lot of bullshit about Alt F4, of course, that doesn't work. And no one has believed in that since 1995. <laughs> um. Yeah, don't, don't post links in the in the chat, by the way. It's like uh, I don't know what it is. I see it's a picture of some kind, but just to be just to be sure, um, unless I specifically ask you for a link, okay? <laughs> but no harm done. Uh, morning, Rama. Welcome to the stream. All right, that, that's the chat for now. I can let's check in on the game here. Don't worry about messing with the platform here, by the way. It, uh, this is <laughs> doesn't matter at all. If, uh, like if you make holes in it or discolor it or whatever. Um, the point of this platform being, this, this platform is the max size of a claim. So, 
what I'm going to do here eventually is I'm going to have like multiple of these just to be able to to maximize the space because I don't want to use that area for uh, uh, for for testing anymore. I want to build things on that area and test out here. What are people talking about here? How can I build out of wood? Can't find it. Got materials and it's three logs. Yeah. If you if you're watching my stream right now, uh, void light. You click up on this thing here. Dutch. It says there. You go down here, and you can choose the type of material on this side. And you go to the wood, and you go to the type of log, and you have to maybe make planks first, probably. Keep in mind, guys. These guys are these things are going to be hanging up in the trees, so they're not going to be standing on a floor. So they might they need their own platform, or they need uh, like to be uh, to be hanging from something, or sticking out of a of a tree or something. All right. <laughs> I'm going to start to clean up here in the meantime. Uh, frisbee, how do you get your key? Well, you buy them for now. Uh, you can either buy buy one of the Alpha Axis packs, which is the Trailblazer or the Explorer pack, will give you al Alpha Axis like we have now, or the last pack will give you Beta Axis, which should start within the next couple of weeks at the latest. That's how you get access at the time. You don't really get you might get beta access for free too, I don't know, or you can win a competition, or like someone here did. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. I'm afraid though to pick things up here because they are like when I pick things up they disappear. Let me just try it. I'm gonna test picking this up. Pick up. Where it go? It disappears. What on earth? I don't want to pick that up because that will really disappear. I'm going to try to relog and see if it ended up back in my inventory. It's like everything I pick up disappears. Granted, some of those things has previously been duplicated by the game, so... Frisbee, I can't... Uh, I, I can't tell you whether it's worth it or not. Basically, only spend cash on this game now, because it will be free to play, so only spend cash on this now if you want to back the game. Not... Don't spend cash on it to buy the game, because the game is not finished, you know? So, only spend cash on it to to help them out. That's that's the only reason. Because uh, you will be uh, buying your way into an alpha. The axe is back now. But the chest and the other thing is not. If you do going to buy it though, I have a, a promo link. And you might <laughs> you can use that. And it's linked to on pretty much all of my YouTube videos, um, and the and the top and the description of that. But again, I'm not advising you to do it. I'm just saying if you're going to do it, if you make your mind up on it, please use my promo link, and that will give me some giveaway items that I can uh, can give to like Twitch streamer or my Twitch audience and YouTube audience. Holy crap! What happened here? Whoa! <laughs> what the? Uh, whoa! 
<laughs> where, where, where did that come from? I want that tree instead. That's much cooler than the one I had. That was a much better tree. <laughs> I haven't been... Oh yeah, it's one of those ancient trees. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm just reading up in chat here again, by the way. Alright. <sighs> Not sure if I can if we build the whole thing down here if I can if I can copy Because that tree is bigger than the one I have, isn't it? It looks cooler. And it doesn't belong on this. Yeah. You know what? Let's. Huh. Can I copy that? Duplicate. How, how do you. How do you. Can you blueprint those, or what? what or do, do I actually have them? I haven't tried anything with this yet. Oh, you have to craft them. Not there. Not there. Prop trees, okay. Large jungle and banyan. I need large. Dead medium desert tree. Okay. Man, what are these things called? Huge old growth tree, two and one. That must be the ones. I want the huge one. Diamond pine. I wish I could place these and then chop them down because that's the difficult ones. Hallowed old growth tree. Oh, okay, let's let's make the huge one. That one. Not, not sure which of them is hugest. I want one. Huh. Oh well, <laughs> forgot. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, that's the one, that's the tall one. I'll 
put it over here. I'm not supposed to be able to hold shift and something to to not place it yet. Um, okay, because the other thing I want to do. Yeah, there we go. We can also make it even bigger. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna be huge. Not even sure if you can fit on a claim. Can I even place this? I wonder. <laughs> it won't. It won't place. I think it. It's too big. It's like an alien invasion ship. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fit on one claim though, that's the problem. <laughs> I think I have to make it a little smaller. <laughs> okay, I can, it's it. <laughs> It can't be, um, it, it, it can't be, whoa, there's another one. <laughs> Was that that same size? The only thing I don't like about these trees, we were climbing in this yesterday, is that they are, what's going on here, <laughs> so enormous, or they're so full of, yep. Come on. It's so full of things. Leaves and pines or whatever. That you can't see where you're going when you're up in here. It's kind of hard to get to the top because of that. Uh. Come on, it doesn't want to attach to the top there. I kind of like to enjoy the view here. Ish. Yeah, you can get pretty high up. There we go. Yes! <laughs> now delete the tree so I can sit up here. Let's see what's going on in the chat here. Settler comb, the, the claims are uh, not that big, it's the size of the platform underneath here, so but you can make more of them and you can attach them to each other and it costs more in-game upkeep kind of thing for the more claims you have. Let's see, the chat is unusually active today, so I can't keep up with all of it. Um, Beta key is not that expensive. Beta is like 19, I think, 19 dollars. Alpha is expensive. Mm. Oh yeah, you, you, you found that out too <laughs> in the chat here. 
Considering that alpha ends in two weeks, there's not much point in, in paying out though. That's that's kind of true. Uh, to pay that much for it, so you might as well just wait for two weeks to get the beta. But you do get a couple of items, none of which are really that useful that I would pay that much money for it. But again, consider this: if you buy this, you're doing it to 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 support the game, not to buy the game. Otherwise, just wait until the game is out and you can get it for free. This, there will be no point to buy it if you're not doing it to support it, the game. Um, that's, uh, any other mindset will just make you a whiny forum bitch complaining about bugs, honestly. <laughs> so, and we don't need more of that. Um, see if they code the high limit. Height limit. The, um, there is a skybox, I believe, but I think it's hard to reach. I haven't reached it before, at least. Huge old right there, okay, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with the uh, settler there. Uh. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I wanted to delete the tree just to just to hang up up here in the in the middle of the air. But never mind. I'm coming down now. Whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> I see we're building a hobbit hole here. <laughs> it's like things things happen fast. The thing is, um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was considering if we should just put this tree here, um, and then place things on the tree like uh, the little houses and whatever, and then put it up on the other claim afterwards, but I guess that's not really on the point. We may as well just place that tree on there. Let me, um, let me see if I can place a tree up here instead of... I'm not sure what my current tree is. Well, actually, I'll just keep that there for now, experiment with it. I still need to figure out if I can remove this thing. Because whenever I remove stuff, it disappears, and that's what makes me a bit nervous. Especially if I were to remove something that takes forever to make, like this one. But I will have to try. Pick up. That's still here. It seems to be only the things that I have previously duplicated. <laughs> I haven't duplicated them on purpose. I hope this one works. I just happened to, to get like two copies of them. But okay. Whatever. I have all of those things downstairs. They sort of like ended up in my inventory after some patches. Uh, but was also not at the same time removed from here. So that's what happened there. Get some work done. Giant bridge, yeah that would be cool. You can yeah 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 yeah. That'd be awesome. You can just, uh, Rama says in the, in the chat that you could just rotate the whole thing horizontally and you'll have a, a huge bridge. That would be a sweet... That would be pretty sweet. Heal tool on hotbar, yeah, that's, <laughs> that can cause problems. Okay, so did we get any of that stuff? No, nope, just that thing that wasn't duplicated already. I'm gonna go down here and place that in the cave. In the hole of uh, storage. This is where everything is. So if you need. Oh, we'll 
make more versions and later on but I don't know I keep forgetting what the key is to oh there there's P okay to not bind it to things so we need to scale it a little bit I want it that big don't really have room for it anywhere in the shelves here anymore so I guess we'll put it <laughs> um, over here maybe I think it will fit here actually I should Uh, I'll have to put it there. That'll do. Sort of in the floor a little bit, but never mind. Okay, so we have everything now. How's it going over here? You don't actually have to have the, the giant tree here, it's just... Um, it's more of a... Like we're going to... <laughs> you can play around with that though. That is actually looking kind of cool. But the main plan here is that we'll, um, we'll build like little huts or something. And, uh, and put them around and up in the tree to to live in <laughs> uh, uh, I see someone panicking here there we go I'm going to start to clean up a bit here now. Should probably keep the observer sign <laughs> for later. But some of this stuff is so bad. Some of the stuff that I made here. Such early experiments. I've been just waiting until I know how to craft to do anything really. So we're going to delete this platform in its entirety. Where's my selection gone? Why? But I kind of want to kind of want to save this just because it's kind of a kind of a hassle to make actually I'll save the other one, save that one no I'll just see if that works or not. Yeah, that's fine. I can template that, I guess. See if we can select that template. If I first just select something else, yeah, and then yeah. That works. Excellent. Sent up, sent up. Yes, uh, if the creation cool tools are as cool as they look, uh, I'd say so. You have um, 
you have uh, quite a bit of options. I'm not gonna lie, it works quite well. So I'm just removing stuff here now because we're gonna start building a new platform. I don't want this old crap here in the way because it's not really that well, well made. It was made when I first started playing the game and knew nothing about the game. And we can do better. Dunk. Platform removed. Oh, let's remove that stuff too. Did I just remove the tree? I didn't want to remove the tree exactly. Hold on. Dang it. I think I just deleted the tree. <laughs> Undo. Undo. Screw it. <laughs> Undo doesn't work. What's this here? That's fine. That's fine. Because I was going to remove that eventually anyway. Void eye to make a sphere mid mid air. Let me show you. It's best to make it not mid air and then copy it. <laughs> like if you make it there. Good. Whoa. Okay. Well, if you hadn't deleted it right there, then you can just copy it and paste it up there. Never mind. I will. I will do the heal tool here. Yeah, that's that's the plan. Uh, but I think heal will only heal nature. Hopefully, that's my plan in a way. Let's see what all that do. If I do heal tool on that, yeah, that heals. Nature. Let's see if it considers that tree a part of the nature. Yeah. It doesn't matter because we're going to use the huge tree there anyway. We're going to place it on top of here. We're going to keep this hole here though. Finally got rid of the tree. I, I kind of started to think it would never happen. <laughs> and these structures under here too can be removed. We can do those better too. Oh yeah, the tweak tool. Yeah, that's new. That's true. Thanks for uh, thanks for reminding me. Magov. I haven't been playing with that, but okay, so yeah, if I do tweak tool before, like. Tweak mode, or whatever. Tweak mode. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah. And before placing it, you can. Alright, so if you shift click it before placing it, then you can do it. Alright, excellent. See that word out? Oh, man, undo has stopped working now. I hate when that happens. Because that means that usually when you press the delete tool too, something messes up. Or that, look, look here. If you want to want it mid-air, you make the size of ball you want, then you hold shift, then you click, and you'll get this thing, and you can move it around first before you place it. Then, okay, done. Dun. Superb! I don't think I can heal the tree. Uh, well that's a cool shape, by the way. <laughs> I want that one. Give me that one. I'm gonna decorate with it. Control C.
Where is it? Dang it! <laughs> Copy paste and stuff doesn't really. Why is it here? C, O, V. Does it go there? I don't understand. Thanks for the tip with the tweak tool, tweak mode there. I, uh, I completely forgot about that. They just added that to the game. Hobbit house here. <laughs> I think you could do like Whoa, what's going on here? How did that happen at all? And the copy paste doesn't work. I don't. I can't undo things anymore. How did that happen? This is there something here that I. I don't really understand. Okay, that's weird. I'm gonna relog just to to get my control Z working. Because that's really annoying when that doesn't work. I have to unstart. I have to restart the client entirely. Not just this. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So I can't. I can't undo now either. Restarting client. How do you select the opposite side of a selection box? Through the selection box, you hold control. You hold control, you will like select through the wall of the selection box. It used to be shift, but they changed shift to be the arrows. So now it's control, which means I should update my video tutorial on that, by the way. Jem uh, Sombra, good morning. Good morning and welcome to the stream. And by the way, to all of you in here, that if you're not normally in here, uh, this is our weekend hangout. Normally, I'm mostly on YouTube. So if you haven't seen my YouTube channel, I would much prefer that you head over there and give a little subscription to that page. I have tutorials mainly for this game, but I also post these streams on there afterwards um, and other games. So the, so the Twitch thing, that's our little hangout thing in the weekends, just for fun. Let's see how this works now.
No, the undo works. Okay, finally. Bad time. Hey, hold on, hold on. You can scale it? Oh, okay. I <laughs> thought maybe I could scale it bigger. That would be great if that was the case. Testing something here now. Testing, testing, testing. Nope. <laughs> I don't want to be doing. I don't want to be pixelating circles here just yet. What we'll do that is much easier. experimenting with some techniques now I'm not really watching chat at the moment I will read back on it in a second Yeah, this is impossible to align. Always impossible to align this. <laughs> okay, screw that. We'll have to do it more. We'll have to do that more uh, accurately with pixels, voxels, blocks. Hey prayer dog, thanks a lot for that. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the good feedback. I have, uh, I haven't, I have a tutorial, another tutorial coming up. It's just taking me some thinking time, <laughs> and it has to do with. Uh, well, I'll show you guys just quickly what it will be about. Oh, that is cool. I see what you're doing there. That's gonna be sweet, dude. Yeah, do that. <laughs> do like, a, all right, awesome. Yeah, we'll see. We'll check back on this. But the the new tutorial will be about this stuff, not just stars. This is just like how I came across it, and then I read up a little bit on it, and I know that uh, that people have that know there are people in the world that knows a lot more about this than I do, but. In general, people are not so good at explaining that stuff to people that know even less than I do. So that's where I come in. And so this is how I came across these weird things here. Um, 
and it basically has to do with how you manipulate the corners of voxels because voxels are not squares you know like voxels are triangles th that together shape a square normally in this game for practical reasons but they're actually triangles and you can manipulate if that is an exact box or a square or whatever I'm not so good with geometrical names or whether it will be like most of it is straight but then one peaks off to the side for example you can manipulate that you can you can move those corners there is no tool to do it but there are methods of doing it and this would be one way and that's how you can do those shapes for example if I were to place a voxel in here of some material I haven't tried this before but I'm, I imagine that will be the case oh okay <laughs> Yeah, that didn't work out exactly how I wanted. So this is this is so weird. Uh, I don't think I can actually fill that, but I should be able to replicate this shape by. Oh, it's too complicated. I don't want to do it right now. <laughs> we'll do it on the tutorial when I figure it out. I don't want to spend like this whole maybe later in the stream. First, this. Good morning from the US. Oh, thank you. The US is uh, not really morning anymore, or very, very early morning, maybe. But good morning nonetheless. Let's see if we can fix this place up a bit. Who? Nope. Not in here, not in the cave of awesomeness. Also, I'm not entirely sure why I had that so far down there. It's the only here I want to fix. There. Yeah. <laughs> the holes. No. That's the one I want. There's a dog barking out here, and I'm, I don't want to close the window because it's warm here. <laughs> hmm. That hole might disappear, but oh, well, we can fix that later. Are we good over here with the sign and everything? Alright. Let's see if that fixes it. Actually, I want to see in the cave if that messes up my roof anywhere. Not really. Well, it would be cool to have that hole there, actually. But we'll heal it. There we go. Good as new, except we don't have that tree there, but we can replicate the tree. Should I keep these here just for now? I'm almost, I am almost just like deleting the entire claim here is what I should do. No, I have a copy of this, so I'll remove it. There. Then we'll heal it. That should fix that. Looks a bit weird here, but I guess that's how it was. Must have been. Hmm.
You have to go get some stone or dirt. And why do I have to go get cigarettes? <laughs> okay. Um, I have a lot of stone and dirt though, if you want some. Oh yeah, you can, you have some down there. If the chest wasn't disappearing every time I picked it up, I could place it here for you. But I have like way too much of that stuff. It's especially stolen and dirt, I don't know what to use it for. I guess I could turn it into gems, but I don't really use gems for that much either. Boom. I'm gonna leave these here just to know approximately where that was. We're gonna start working on... But the thing is, I have two claims on top of each other. We can get really high up here. I need to... Hey Rose! Welcome to the stream. Or welcome to the game anyway. Not sure if you're in the stream. <laughs> Are you giving up? What's the problem? Let me... Oh, let's have a look at this. That's, that's, a, that's a cool idea actually over here. <laughs> Mosquito. Okay, let me get Gemma. Let me get me some. Uh, let me get you some stuff. Maybe I can just like I put I put a bunch of. You need just stone and stone and stuff. Ugh. Stop it, fly! There's a fly here. It's annoying me. I don't know how much you need. I'll give it some stone and dirt. Can you try to trade me? Because I don't know what. I can't select you. I think I'm. Oh, no, that's not you, that's a table. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, I can't. I'm like uh, the being in the wizard mode right now. There we go, trade session. I don't know how much you need, I never noticed how much stuff takes. We'll begin with this. I have much more. Let me know if you need some wood too, I have like tons and tons of planks. I'm very interested in this idea. That was a that was a cool cool thing to, that came to be there. <laughs> Settlercom, how how far are they going to go into the gameplay, like combat system and such? What do you mean, like? Uh, um, there will be combat. 
there will be NPCs, there will be PvE, not sure if there will be PvP in this game. Obviously, like, Landmark is, is the, what should I say, like, the, <laughs> the Minecraft variety of this game. If it will play like Guild Wars 2 or old versions. No. It will play more like Minecraft. Think Minecraft with this. Because you have like, yeah, like. Landmark is, is the building part. There's, there's also the request next not building game, the MMO, which is more like an 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 EverQuest game, more like a typical MMO, but with ridiculous AI and, and how the AI impacts the world and with uh, with everything being made out of voxels, be destructible and you will they will import player creations from this game into that other game. Although you won't be building voxel by voxel in that game, but you will be able to like build with templates. Yeah, it's two different games though. Keep remember that it's, it's two 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 different games. Same engine sort of, but different rules. This is a nice idea, dude. <laughs> if only there was like a prop that was. <laughs> why is there? Why is there? <laughs> you actually went through the trouble of making one of these here. Okay. Morning, Mora. Oh, you didn't know. It? Okay, so yeah, it's it's two different games. So one of them is the MMO, the other one is the uh, is the builder. So think like Minecraft and World of Warcraft, <laughs> if you know to categorize like the two biggest one in in each separate area. So this is the Minecraft one, and the other one will not be out this year, uh, to the best of my knowledge. That will be next year. I wonder if if there would be like a, a prop that is kind of like a like a stick. Of course we could make that. To make like a tree house kind of thing, I mean. <laughs> What's going on down there? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Did I not read the chat here or something? No. There we go. Okay. Oh, Woos is in the house, or sort of in the house. Hey, dude. <laughs> Oh, the torch, yeah. I don't know what else there would be. Like now with all the trees and everything, there might be uh, like a, a small, almost straight tree that could be used. Let me sit up here so I don't mess with your build. Uh, 
Um, not that one. Yeah, no, this is not the MMORPG with voxels. Well, it is an MMORPG, though. I mean, it is technically an MMO. I mean, you have huge open worlds. And I'm not, well, it's not really an RPG. <laughs> it's, no, this is the, this is like the, the massive, massive Minecraft type game, I would say. Not sure what, what they will add of PvE type content later, but there will be some form of PvE. Uh, which can also be said of Minecraft. There is PvE in Minecraft, even though there's not really much story or anything, or role playing for that matter. But this survival, I guess, is that kind of building and survival type. Like right now, it's just building, building and harvesting. So when they add a survival aspect to it, and an economy, an in game economy, that will be interesting. But me too, I'm also looking forward to that other, the other one, the EverQuest Next, not Landmark. Let's see. What kind of plants can we build? Jungle wines. I'll make one of those. I have to see what the complex jungle wines. Spread jungle wines. <laughs> Glowing pendant jungle. This are these plants can be used for many things. I th things I think. Cactus. Grass. Scrub. <laughs> so many weird things we can make now. I need to have one of these. Some of these organic shapes. Oh man, there is a lot of them. I was actually looking for something less organic that was more like just a stick. Like these mushrooms. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's make some of those. Don't know what I'm using here. Wood? I'm just using wood to make them? Yeah, okay. These things might not work. Whoa, that's a scary plant. Death weave plant. Can't make it. Requires death weave. Oh. Well. Yeah, yeah, you can use um it's like I've seen people use like doors to make spiral staircases, but yeah, you can also do the trees to do that. That's right, Gamora. You can use those kind of props to to make a lot of things. Um Miggy Amos. Uh no Miggy Miggy Mouse. And <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh What map is the best to farm Thistle seed? Thistle seed. Um, I had a I had good luck with that yesterday on on uh, Gulch because that's sort of like a like a like a circular desert and the center of the map where the portal is and then a little bit of um, of grass and then desert again and along the borders of desert you know, like where desert meets grass you'll you'll find those spiky trees that has the thistle seeds so that on um, gulch i think is a good one 
otherwise they're semi-rare so yeah settler he says so will the other one have the voxel creation and mining stuff and such it will have mining i think uh i don't think you build with voxels in that game the same way you do here uh, although the entire world is made out of voxels so everything is destructible um not sure exactly how it's going to work, but I imagine like you you build like with templates made out of voxels instead of just voxels. But I don't know. There might there's there, there's bound to be some kind of voxel influence on like player housing and such there too, but not to the d detail level you do here. I imagine. Uh, being that it's a different type of MMO, that's not going to be the focus of that game. This thing. Oh, oh. Excellent. Look that. <laughs> Make stuff. There's so many trees too, you know? Uh... There's a lot of trees here that could be, but it's kind of looking like a stick that could be used. Gnarled pine. Okay. Something I want to try here. Uh, where is it? That one. I need this up in here. All right. There we go. What the? <laughs> this looks weird. Okay, I kind of want to like rotate that a little. Ah. Okay. Well, okay, so we do I need to do that. Would be awesome if this didn't always adjust itself. Man, what was it? To, uh, to to unbind it from the floor. Keep forgetting which key that was. Less easy to get in there. <laughs> That's true, but uh, kind of makes us, it gives us a little window hole. Cool. So you can place roots. Did not know that. 
There's a lot of things you can do with the uh, organic stuff now that we have so many props. Oh yeah, the sh the tweak mode again. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but there is there is something else that there was like a, there's a key and I have it in my my like my short key tutorial uh, where you can uh, like unbind props from locking on to to ground. <laughs> ah, it's coming along here. So Gomorrah says, the way it's advertised is that what we make and put in player sales thing can be bought and used in EQN. Really? Is that? No, I don't think so. I think it has to be approved. I don't think you can just make anything and as long as someone is willing to buy it, uh, it can be put into EQN. Although I can't say for sure, but I think there is sort of like an approval process that they that they actually, for the things that you put into the actual EverQuest, has to be approved by the developers. But I don't know. Um, Shadows Bane um, ask if Landwork will run alongside EverQuest Next or just stop and then there will be EverQuest Next. No, they will be running separately. So both games will be operational at the same time. There are two entirely separate games, but there are like this is the thing that is like overflowing a bit between them is the fact that you can import things in between landmark and next and such. But to what extent we don't know yet. I at least I don't. There we go. Starting to look good here. This is absolutely something I'll put in uh, in the tree house <laughs> if you allow me. I want to fill it in some more though. This is cool. It's a very zen, <laughs> like a meditative place with all the branches. Whoa, whoa, this is... That was bigger than I thought. <laughs> That's cool. Another one. Another one. These are kind of flat as well, so... No, they're not really big enough, these mushrooms, are they? No. They are solid though. I guess you could like make a like a <laughs> prison cell out of out of mushrooms. I was looking for something to put like as walls. Like a whole bunch of these. Nope. That will not do. <laughs> cool. I like this uh, new plant thing so you can do here. 
so much stuff you can you can experiment with and make. What's going on here? Ah, giant mushrooms. <laughs> oh, I like it. Excellent. <laughs> Okay, so that thing with the whole, with the creating the main cities and everything. Um, if you look at, if I remember correctly, anyway, the footage from that. Uh, this looks cool, by the way. You can make some pretty awesome stuff with this. <laughs> yeah, the whole Hobbit slash elf house here now with plants and everything in no time. Whoa, bugs out. So, so the way that the whole thing with the goblins attacking the city and whatever as I understood it that's like you tell the villagers that we need a wall and we need a wall here and they will start making it for you based on your instructions or blueprints but you don't actually go there and selection tool slash build wall or uh, or place them in its entirety yourself i think it's more it's it's more like it would be in a game that has time in it uh, like you would actually have to have the resources and the time and the manpower to construct a wall i would imagine but um, again that's just how i understood it i might be wrong i don't really know much about every quest next just landmark so far But I do imagine that they will use a lot of the creations that people do in this game and just import it into Landmark. No, into into your quest next. Okay. It's called a sandbox MMO, yeah, but it's called a, like. It's important to notice that sandbox does not mean building. Sandbox, technically, means you have no ob objective. Like you can do whatever the f you want. Usually, that involves building, and player cities and crafting and exploration and that's just what we associate with sandbox and I think it will be a lot of that but I think in, in essence it's just that I don't think there will be a whole bunch of questing in it at least I hope not I hope it will be more like back to the roots of, of like old school MMOs in that sense and I think there will be some questing no doubt because that's just how it works now or objectives more like it but the, th the thing with that game that makes it so unique with uh, every quest next um, is the AI of the mobs and the whole thing that they explain in those videos with how like if those orcs are trying to rob you they will find a place where it's like it's preferable to them to hang out because only rarely someone comes through there and the ones that comes through there are not really that well equipped there's no guards around and um, if for some reason that becomes like a highway and a lot of people with lots of guards and dangerous things comes through there those orcs will move they'll move into a forest somewhere start attacking people there instead they won't move near a city because a city has guards they don't like guards so we'll have like AI making decisions based on certain criteria moving around making the world dynamic that kind of thing so you won't have like a quest in location E that go to location B and kill 15 orcs because there might not be any orcs in location B they might have moved because there was a troll there that they didn't like or get along with so yeah Settler uh, comb nope I, <laughs> I, I don't know I don't work for them uh, I don't work for SOE uh, I have uh, I'm a uh, I'm a so-called insider, which basically means 
I can uh, sometimes get some information a bit ahead of time. I can get some promo codes to give out, uh, um, give out in streams and in videos and such, like the Prime Grappler giveaways. Uh, but I'm not paid. I don't have any special access. Uh, it's basically just just some extra resources for people who are streaming and making a lot of videos for for this game. Uh, Wire Puppet. They will probably buy stuff from Player Studio to use in EQN if it fits the style and is good enough. Yeah, that's how I think it will work too. That's absolutely how I think it'll work. And they were like, imagine like they they will have like an enormous library of things that people put in there, to uh, in in the player studio that they can just simply go in and like, hey, this is good. We don't have to make this ourselves. And here we have an entire castle. We can just use that and place it in some somewhere in the in the world. Um, I think that's kind of how they're thinking to do it. But I don't know. Not sure. Starting to take shape now. This thing. <laughs> Looking, looking fine. What's Gemma doing? <laughs> You're taking a break in here. Spell something. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought you were AFK. Dang it. <laughs> all right, all right. I won't. I won't block you in there. Yet. <laughs> you need some light in this house. I think I happen to have one. There we go. Eh. Oh, that's a big light. There we go. Ding. Much better. <laughs> In no time. No time at all. I think the the Hobbit hole door can be made a little bit better though. With the inlaid pattern system. Don't you think? Let's see here. Oh, hold on. Should even be... Oh. Nope. Doesn't want to let me place it here? Why? What does that mean? What is it that I don't have? Oh, that's cool with all the roots outside here. No, I didn't notice that. <laughs> what is it that is here that I can't copy? Ah.
<laughs> like, is this an Lexart nest up here? Is that what this is? Okay, Gamora, I didn't know that, that, um, so Gamora says, Player Studio was explained as you like it, as you like a tower. You buy it, you use tower in the castle and place it on the studio. People buy it, and your tower builder get money. Tower builder gets royalties. Um, yeah, but I'm not sure if that goes for EQN or just Landmark. That's, that's my only... Don't know. I could be wrong though. I mean there will be some kind of correlation between the two, but I'm not sure exactly what, how that will work. What 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 material are you using in here that I don't have? <laughs> There's oh the dirt is probably because I don't have enough dirt. Hold on, I completely forgot to start faking this place again. Now. Come on, give me dirt. There we go, that should do it. I don't understand, what is it I can't copy? I have dirt. Oh, are you using some kind of weird wood here that I don't have? Is this like, is this like, uh, that's probably what it is, burled wood? Because I don't have any burled wood. <laughs> I bet that's what it is. Man, this thing now is coming along. You should put this on Player Studio. Look at that. Press Alt to check materials? Really? So, how, where? If I do this, then Alt. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, alright. Striped wood. Oh, yeah, okay. Striped wood. I can make some striped wood planks. I have some striped wood. I have quite a few of those actually. No, th thank you. I just discovered it there. <laughs> I have that too. Um. Stone, plastic, wall, and dirt stick. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, that's right. But sorry, I don't check the chat fast enough. Didn't make planks from the wood you have since that's. I'll I'll just I'll just make a few planks here because I have so much wood. After that little trip yesterday, finding all the um, all the thistle stuff for the for the new axe for the ruby side axe.
Yeah, we did that just now. Actually, we uh, we found out what material it was. So it said it was triangle.